Right, so normally we'd have our sevens and eights running in our adapted program on a Saturday morning, but uh, that got cancelled this morning due to the bad weather behind me. But um, yeah, we've still got our nines and above playing this morning, so we've got a few teams out there. Multi-sport facility here at Colmar Sports Centre. Uh, so we've got lots of activities happening around the place. With We've got rugby, hockey, yeah, so a lot of codes, uh, there's lots of games happening. So adapted program uh, caters for a disabled um, children or disabilities or um, yeah, just not being able to play in the mainstream football. So we've got we've had a, a, a group going for at least five years now. Um, Paul Ralph and Leona um, Devere Ellery, she's on our committee. They run that program, and we've got another lady just helping us out as well, Sarah. Um, she's come back from overseas, so we've got a small group of about ten at the moment, and. Um, they play on a Saturday morning and it's quite good. So we get um, support from Halberg as well, Halberg Foundation. When we first started this club we were uh, standalone and we'd use the cr cricket facilities um, or the bowling club next door, um, but now we've got this multi-sport facility which is really, um, really fabulous. Um, yeah, it's, it's great because a lot of us grew up in this community, so our, um, I know my husband Anil, he went to the schools here he knows a lot of the families and they've gone into different codes but our kids have grown up with them as well and it's the same thing so we, we know a lot of people um, but it's a whole lot of families and community coming together, it's brilliant. Our priority is, is working our way up from the juniors so we start on a Friday night we've got our first kicks which is four to six year olds um, so that's just giving them basic activities, uh, coordination skills and some little small sided games. Um, and they seem to love that. Saturday mornings we've got our fun football sevens and eights and we keep them engaged with the same sort of thing. We keep the kids engaged with you know small sided um, activities and games and we also run a summer soccer program over the, the for the rest of the year to keep and, and that's free we don't charge for that and the idea is that we bring kids in to try out the sport that have never played it before try it out and if they like it they'll register for winter and so that's our way of giving back to the community as well. We advertise to the local schools, to the intermediate and um, so that's something we're very passionate about. Yes he did, yeah, so he was I think seven or eight but we, um, yeah, so we've got a few photos of him in the team photo and um, yeah, so he started here so which is good for us and uh, and we went to a Phoenix game last year on the 15th of uh, February I think it was and uh, and Neil managed to get a photo with him, so he was very chuffed, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just shows that what we do for our kids starting in, in the club at an early age and what we can, you know, we can teach them. And it's that whole thing about um, having fun, you know, um, enjoying sport, getting involved, you know, and it's trying to, and that's why we run our summer soccer program as well, is to keep the kids active over, you know, the whole year and not, so they're not sitting around watching TV and playing games. Um, it's, it's to get them out, you know, and it's a social thing as well for the kids to be with other kids, with parents, um, and the parents love it too because they get involved in the games and they end up volunteering for the club and become coaches. So, and they, you don't need to know anything about football. Mm -hmm. and it's, it's, that's the best part about it. So.